Conversions are big. You drive tons and tons of traffic, and it's a numbers game. If you drive enough traffic, you will make sales. I mean, right? It's just, so it, it, it is numbers, but wouldn't it be nice if we could get some balance in our lives, right? We drive some traffic and we get a high rate of conversion and everything's nice and predictable and all those spreadsheets we looked at earlier just work because it's predictable. But we have to deal with the conversion side of things and conversion is all about trust. Google's got a trust score. Google assigns you trust. So I'm jumping around today in this next, in this 45 minutes or whatever, between human trust and Google trust. I'm gonna be kind of be jumping back and forth because these things are actually very related. Google's ranking algorithms are based on human behavior. All right, ratings and reviews. We're gonna focus on this a little bit here today. So right here, right, they got the stars. Mr. Fence at that point in time had 121. He's got more now but that's a big number. So a quantity and quality of reviews is very big. We compare. Now, Sean happens to be in a market that's particularly strong. This is not always the case. This dude here has got almost 100 himself, right? This guy's got almost 50, right? So, so not all markets are quite so strong. Sometimes if, let's say this is in your market, let's say you're the one that's sitting up here with over 100, the next closest one, a lot of times, might only have 20 or 30. Repetition, confirmation. It's the whole deal, you and your wife, you and your girlfriend, do it. Do you love me? Yes. Do you, do you really love me? Yes. You still love me? Yes. Right? How, you don't just say it once. You guys are saying it a million times. You know, Mr. Fence, yeah, that is what, oh, Indiana, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Oh, it is a fence company. Oh, yeah, Evansville again, Indi oh, Vinyl Fence, good, that's what I was looking for. Homepage, yep, Evansville Fence Company. Mr. Fence, fence yep, we do fences, yep. We're fence, quality fence solutions. We're a fencing contractor. Like it's repetition confirmation. It's not only good for Google rankings because it's keyword, 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 but it's also repetition confirmation builds trust. Your home page is a trust page. Develop trust. Get people to know you, like you, trust you on the home page. Sell aluminum fence on the aluminum fence page. Sell wood fence on a wood fence page. Sell dog fence on a dog fence page. Sell your stuff on the appropriate page. On your home page, you are selling trust. You are selling you. This particular stat says 57% of consumers have decided not to do business with a company because their website sucked. Or the way they said it, it was the poor quality of the website did not reflect the professionalism. So your ability to, com to complete a, a sale, to finish out the sale, is based on the quality of the web team that made your website. It's not even fair, but it's true. This is a trust bar. Why should you trust us? Well, we have a great, incredible warranty, unmatched experience, reputation, we're family owned, we're you know, A-plus rated with the BBB, we're cert AFA certified, we, whatever, whatever these trust items are, they're a big deal because I don't think I have to tell anybody in this room, not all of your competitors have this stuff. I, can, I don't trust the truck. I don't, no matter what you do, you show me a, fe a pretty fence and it's nice and I could kind of trust a pretty fence because I guess if you made one pretty fence, maybe you can make a second pretty fence. So there's a little bit of benefit there. But I, we trust people, we connect with people. We don't connect with a piece of metal. Get your people out in front of your facility. I got the sign on the road, it's a differentiator. I, this, these are trust issues, right? If you're a one man show, then grab your dog and get a photo of, with you and your dog. This is why I do it, right here. Or, or if you have a, a little kid, like people connect with people. For God's sakes, please. I, I'm definitely talking to some of my people here. I'm not gonna make eye contact because you know who you are. I've been yelling at you about this. Get some damn photos of your people. People wanna know this is a trust page. This is your home page. This is just a blurb about your company. Yeah, we're professional. We're dedicated. We got all these years. We were, you know, whatever you're, it is you're gonna say, you give them just a little intro about your company and then we give them a chance to click off. More trust items, certification, certification, certification. This whole page, if you look at the home page through the eyes of trust, you're gonna see that there's like a hundred trust items just on Mr. Fence's homepage, which also, by the way, have been optimized for Google benefit, right? It's two for one, it's a twofer, Sean. Cooper. It's a twofer. This whole emotional connection thing, 
This is good. It shows people like, I get it, man. Safety is important. I understand that. The mistake that I see is a lot of companies use this emotional connection piece at the very top of the page before you have even established that you're qualified, that you're experienced, that you, right? Those things are, those have to be established first and I get you. This whole deal, like, you know, on the hero, right up there, you know, make your best offer, get a free quote, right? Uh, some people like getting a shiver right now, like, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, it's not. If I came up to you and said, hi, I'm Sam, you want a, you want a website? Right, that's a little desperate, it's a little desperate. I go to the bar, hi, my name's Sam, will you marry me? <laughs> I'm a hell of a catch, I get you, but there's a wrong offer at the wrong time, I rushed it. They just got to your damn website, they don't know anything about you, you're like, get a free quote! I'm like, I don't even know you, bro. Like, it's too early. Curiosity offers are perfect. Explore why we may be the right solution for you. Learn more about our vinyl fences. Right? These, are, these are what we call exploration or curiosity offers. See why Mr. Fence is, your, is the best choice in the Evansville, Indiana area, right? I'm gonna prove it with some of the guys that we've worked with in the past or just some brands that you know. iPhone gave you an option. Hey man, you ready to buy? Oh, how about learn more? Now we got choice. You wanna learn more or do you wanna buy? pretty slick because it didn't really force a no. You got a choice, right? Walt Disney. We have any Disney fans? Yo, Disney will sell you air at a high price, right? Disney sells everything and even Disney isn't trying to sell your ass on their, on their home pay, right? Like, like learn from the people to spend millions of dollars. Google reviews are critically important as part of Google's ranking algorithm is part of our brain algorithm about why we even make a decision to buy a fence from somebody. So please pay attention to this. So I was watching him recently. Um, he's not a client of ours, but I, I know who he is. And I watched him going around and I was like, this is a great idea. Dude's talking, he's like, hey, Mr. Smith, just finished up your, your fence here. Let me show you the gate, this is great. You know, and he's talking about it. And, yeah, we got that corner the way we said. And, and he wrapped up the project. Apparently he's gonna send this video to the client. I guess the client's not home at the time, I don't know, whatever. And he's like, he's like, and eh, if you don't mind, like, you know, if you think we did a good job, man, totally appreciate it if you just give us a review real fast. It means a lot to us. Tell people it matters. Don't just ask for the review, let them know it's important to you, that it actually matters. The Facebook ambassador, this is actually a big program. I, this to me is like, is a super secret weapon. Somebody in the office, is responsible for a lot of the client contact. Phone rings, you know, thanks for calling ABC Fencing, how can I help you, you know, that kind of thing. And this is like a first point of contact. Friendly voice, bubbly personality. They are the ambassador, they're the advocate. They build the relationship right away. Hey, Mr. Smith, good to hear from you. I understand that the guys are gonna be there on Friday, right? They just, they just grease the wheels, right? Hey, by the way, we, you know, I noticed we haven't hooked up on Facebook yet. Do you use Facebook? You know, and they're like, oh yeah, I got Facebook. Everybody has Facebook, man. Everybody uses Facebook. Your girl Susie is, is now friended up with Mr. Smith, right? And she's like, all right, I'm gonna make sure, oh man, you're so lucky we got our top installers, the guy that's gonna be handling your, your install on Friday. Man, you got one installer. All right, it doesn't matter, right? But it, you, they set, she sets everybody up as a superstar, right? This guy's excited that he's getting a superstar, right? You got, you, you build a relationship. So now the project is over and now Susie reaches back out with a project photo and says, hey, you know, one of the guys uh, just showed me, I just saw the photos, man, that fence turned out great. I hope you're happy with it, it's beautiful. I love what they did with the gate, right? Whatever, right? Are you happy with it? Oh, I love it, they were so good, you know, whatever it is. And then Susie says, hey, would you mind just filling out this, just clicking this link real fast and giving us a five-star review? Dude, it's like 75% success rate. That's how you win communication. Tell people what you're gonna do, do it, and then tell them, remind them what you did. Vendors and partners, it is not a problem to reach out to, to to some of your vendors and partners, say, yo, man, would you mind going on Facebook, give us a review, here's a link. You know, ask them, 
Man, they work with you, right? Your employees, for God's sakes, how many of you guys, some of you guys have 40, 50 employees and you got like five reviews. How is that possible? Some of you guys got like a zero score on Google Trust or a very low score on Google Trust. When you go to Google My Business, your listing has a physical address that you put in. It has a phone number, it has an email. Like you had to put in your business information. That business information has to match 100% perfectly with the, with the information that's on your website. So sometimes businesses have relocated, they change the phone number, they change an email address. I don't want Sandy to get the leads anymore, I want Billy to get the leads. And now all of a sudden, Billy's email address is the one that's listed on the site, but Sandy's email address, it hurts your trust, right? Like there, this, there's all kinds of reasons that shit could go wrong with your trust. So you need to be your own police force, so you gotta have somebody that's out there that's part of your police force, that's paying attention to make sure that all the mistakes get corrected. And that is a, a good start to Google trusting that you even are who the hell you say you are. Because if it's got eight different addresses listed for you over the course of the last 20 years, how's it gonna trust you? It doesn't even know for sure where the hell you are, right? It's just a start, good?